in today's winning plate, carbs or low carbs or no carbs? That's the question. While some think that eating a low carb diet is better for your health, a new study found that among middle aged Americans, those who ate a moderate amount of carbohydrates lived about four years longer than those who ate a limited amount of carbs. And researchers also say that people who replace carbs with animal proteins and fats had a higher risk of early death than those who replace them with plant based foods. Nutrition consultant Leslie Bonsi says this and other studies show that you need to be careful about what you eliminate from your diet. You know, and this is what people normally do is when you take something out of it, no more right. potato, no more pasta, no more corn, no more rice, oh, maybe I should eat a steer the size of the table. And so we're incorporating a lot more of things that might not have the same benefit and what we're taking away may be a detriment to our health. Well, so I think uh, people consider weight loss healthy. So you're going to lose a lot of weight if you cut out the sugars and the carbohydrates, but it's long, long term, maybe not yeah, and we all And none of us are thinking 10 years down the road, 20 years down right. the road. We don't. And this study is a wake up call to say, uh oh, is maybe you're losing weight, but you're going to be six feet under and that's not necessarily a good thing. And the other thing we need to be aware of is that not all these foods are created equal. So it's the idea of being selective rather than just saying I'm going to take them out of my diet entirely would probably be a better thing to do. However, to your point, when people cut carbs out, okay. particularly when you're cutting out grains or when you're cutting out starchy vegetables like potato and corn, one of the things that carbs do is they help with fluid balance. So when you take them out of your diet, you get this effect, fluid losing effect. You step on a scale, awesome, you, I weigh less. Right. But that's water and that can in part be a little bit of muscle. So you're not changing your body composition the right way even though your weight's going down. So on this side of the table we kind of have what might be someone's no carb, low carb diet. Right. And so animal protein usually is there if it's a meat Beef. and if it's a chicken. And if you're going to do this then at least pick things that are lean meats, not things that are heavily marbled. Okay. There's nothing wrong with eating fish but there's also nothing wrong with having a small piece with something else on the, on the plate. You can do eggs or even something like an egg muffin. So that's just eggs and allowed vegetables that are there. Right? Those are allowed. Vegetables, certain ones are allowed. So broccoli, cauliflower, peppers, mushrooms, leafy greens, all of those are fine. And however, when it comes to fruits, only certain ones, it's berries because they're high water, high fiber, mm -hmm. and apples. And it's, mm, that's not a lot of choices. Right. And then you can do nuts. But when we notice with, with nuts, Heather, is going to be, oh, nuts. Well, there it is. There's the portion size. No, it is not. We have to be careful with the amount of it. And certainly there's been enough written lately about coconut oil to say, you know, mm, and the arteries say, no, thank you. This is not the benefit for the body. So, yes, you have some fats. Yes, you have some protein. Yes, you have some vegetables. But this is also pretty limited. And where's the texture? Where is the texture? Where right. is the crunch coming from? Okay, so we move on to some healthy carbs that are okay. So and they how are can we okay. These? So is there anything wrong with this? Look at this banana smiling. Happy, I yeah, good. It. But Ban bananas get a bad rap. They do get a bad rap. But first of all, this is only about 70 to 80 calories. It has the fiber in it. It has the potassium in it. It has the creaminess and the taste and the sweet. And we like that taste. I love a banana with peanut butter. You know, there we go. And Favorite you don't always want to put peanut butter on kale. It's like wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong. If it is mangoes, if it is pears, if it is oranges, all these things, even some raisins, there's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. eating these foods. The vegetables that people can't eat on a low carb diet, nothing wrong with having potatoes. If they're white or sweet potatoes, if it's an ear of corn, it takes a while to eat that and it's enjoyable. Right? It is, right. We like that. It's a summertime favorite. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Now, we don't have to have an enormous potato but this could be part of the plate or things like tomatoes we'll just pick these out of our neighbor's garden thank you Joe but you know <laughs> these are they're fantastic why wouldn't you want to eat a tomato or even some carrots right. because they're delicious you also cannot do beans you can't do any soy none of that and then what about these things like oatmeal oh I want Aww. a nice hot bowl of lettuce in the morning said no one ever <laughs> right no we just don't do that or if we want to have some rice or pasta this doesn't mean the entire bag but why can we not have some pasta on the plate instead of totally taking it off the plate even if it's one quarter of the plate so if I have a hand sized amount of protein if I have two fists of vegetables one fist of a pasta and maybe I live longer maybe I enjoy my food more right. What is wrong with that? Nothing. I say nothing too, Leslie. I like your advice today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> for more of Leslie Bonsi's healthy living tips, you can watch for the winning plate here on PTL and check out Leslie's website. You'll find that link at katieka.com/ptl.